When this man came across a dying mother wolf and her crying cub in desperate need of help, he didn't hesitate to step up. Little did he know how his act of kindness that day would help him out in a surprising way just a few months later. Cameron was a young artist who decided to move into the countryside of Canada to capture its rare beauty. Having been born and raised in America, he had always admired the stunning beauty the Canadian wilderness had to offer. So one day he decided he would venture out and lease a small cabin on the outskirts of a rural town. That way, he could capture sunrises and sunsets, in addition to the wondrous landscapes that simply existed there. His medium of choice was oil, and he would spend hours trying to get his depictions right. However, there were times when he needed a break from his art, and this is where his hiking would come in. He had been an avid hiker basically his whole life, so the hobby was of comfort to him. He knew how to navigate the wilderness, which was useful in situations where he didn't know the area very well. He was also quite aware and accustomed to the risk of wild animals he may come across. Obviously, Canada didn't differ too much from America regarding its wildlife. However, being more north, the prevalence of predators such as bears and wolves was much higher. This notion was constantly at the back of his mind, so Cameron traveled with bear spray and first aid kits on him at all times. He didn't know that yet, but one gloomy day he would be very thankful for his gear. He had been having a rough week regarding inspiration and technique for his painting, so he decided he needed to go on a long hike to try and clear his mind. He set off on a route that he hadn't tried before, excited for the challenge that lay ahead. According to the park rangers of the area, this particular trail required a bit of climbing up the mountain and navigating the rockier terrain. Cameron wasn't worried about the route. However, what was waiting for him on this rocky terrain was going to take him by surprise. He had just begun climbing the rockier area when he started to hear a strange sound. At first, he put it off as being a local bird that he was unfamiliar with. However, as he advanced on his trail, the sound got louder and more distinct. It became apparent that the sound was nothing like a bird, but rather a puppy whining. This put Cameron on edge. The idea of a sweet puppy being this far out was unlikely. This just meant that there might be wolves in the area closer than he realized. He stayed highly aware of the sound and tried to place it as he advanced on the rocks. Just as he began to think he would never see the pup, he noticed a little fluffy gray body appear just behind a jagged rock. It was small and all alone. Again, alarm bells went off in Cameron's head. He knew very well that around any seemingly abandoned young animal he would most likely find its mother as well. Cameron immediately began to look over his shoulder, wary that the pup's mother might attack him out of nowhere. He sat down where he was, hiding behind some trees and waiting patiently to see what was going on. But the little pup remained alone, sitting and crying anxiously. And all of a sudden it started doing something interesting. Every few minutes it would walk up to the rock and bark and cry at the ground, or so it seemed. This was unusual behavior that piqued Cameron's curiosity so he decided to advance and see what was going on from up close. The puppy seemed torn as to whether it should run away from the looming strange man or stay close to the rock it seemed very interested in. Cameron noted this with interest as he approached the puppy. Anticipation grew, but nothing could have prepared him for what he actually found. By the puppy's feet, in the rock it was hiding behind, was in fact a crevice. It was big enough for a grown person to go down, and inside the crevice was a very lethargic gray wolf that hardly moved when he called down into the hole. Cameron very quickly realized that this wolf was the puppy's mother, and also that she was on the verge of death. She must have fallen down the crevice a few days earlier, and the pup had stayed close all that time. Luckily for them, Cameron had happened to come past when he did. He wasn't heartless, and he knew he needed to help the mother wolf so he looped up some rope and sent it down into the crevice. With a lot of frustrating attempts, he finally managed to get it around the wolf and began to hoist her up. Once she was out of the hole, her bad condition appeared clearer. Cameron knew she needed help, but he wasn't really equipped to treat her. So he did the next best thing. He emptied out his knapsack and collected all the food and water he had. He lifted the sweet wolf's head and fed her some water to help her rehydrate. He then opened up some of the jerky and crackers he had packed and laid them out for the wolf and her pup. He sat there for over an hour, 
feeding the sweet wolf water in small increments until she began to stir and looked a bit more responsive. He didn't want to overstay his welcome and be attacked by the wolf though, so he left what was remaining of his supplies and then started to make his way home. Before leaving, he promised the little pup he would be back the next day with more food. And sure enough, he was. Every day for a week, he returned to the spot where he had last seen the duo, but never found them again. Still, he left them some raw meat to eat. He still couldn't really digest what had happened, as it all seemed so surreal. After a week, he resigned himself to the fact that he probably would never see the wolves anymore. And he was okay with that. After all, he was just glad that he had been able to help in some way. But three months later, he got a big surprise that scared the life out of him. He was out on one of his hikes, kitted up with everything he might need. It was a beautiful day and he hoped to find a nice viewing spot of the nearby lake and enjoy some lunch. It took three hours of arduous climbing and hiking before he finally got to the spot he had in mind. Exhausted but happy, he sat down and took out the sandwiches he had prepared. He was halfway through his first when he heard a sharp sound behind him. It sounded like a branch snapping under heavy weight. He was out in the middle of nowhere and the chances of it being another hiker were extremely slim. Cameron could feel his stomach tense into a ball. He dared to turn around, but was met with nothing but leaves behind him. Shaking with adrenaline, he turned slowly back around trying to calm down. But as he did, he heard a big sigh and grunt behind him. As he whipped around again, all he managed to glance at was a massive paw swiping at him, before everything was black. When he came to, he found himself looking at a sight he never thought he'd live to see. There was a massive grizzly bear standing awkwardly facing him, but in between him and the huge predator were two wolves. The wolves were baring their teeth viciously and growling at the bear, and their tactic was working. The bear obviously didn't think the sandwich was worth the trouble and decided to turn around and leave. Cameron was bewildered. Who were these wolves? Why had they saved him? Once the bear had retreated out of sight, the wolves slowly turned around and faced the hiker. It was then that he recognized the markings on the younger wolf. It was the little pup he had saved all those months prior. They didn't come any closer, but simply hovered as if to check that he was all right and then disappeared into the thick brush in front of them. Cameron's head was pounding. Luckily, the bear hadn't done too much damage, but he still felt quite sore. Packing up his things, he slowly made his way back home, thanking his guardian angels that had saved him from a horrible ordeal. If he hadn't helped the wolves all those months back, he probably wouldn't have lived to see another painting. What a crazy story of fate, care, and bravery. Would you have helped the mother wolf like Cameron did? How would you have reacted to encountering a bear like this? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Till next time.